is the female board model here. You see that you have the pubic symphysis here. And in front of the pubic symphysis or anterior to the pubic symphysis, you have the mons pubis. The mons pubis is the fatty tissue that's in front of the pubic symphysis. If you continue to go posteriorly, you have the labia majora and labia minora. This right here would be the clitoris. So you have the clitoris, the labia minora, the labia majora, and all of those are the outside organs of the female reproductive tract, female reproductive system, and those collectively all would be called the vulva. So the vulva includes all of the external organs of the female reproductive tract. That is the mons pubis, the labia majora, labia minora, and the clitoris. Okay, so let's look inside of the female reproductive tract. Okay, it's easier if you identify this here as being the bladder. This is the urethra. This would be the urethral orifice because it's the opening to the urethra. Go posteriorly. This would be the vaginal orifice because it's the opening of the vagina. This structure here is the vagina. It leads here to the uterus. Okay, the first part of the uterus that is in contact with the vagina is the cervix. This is where they take cells whenever they're doing, doing a pap smear. So this is the cervix here. This opening of the cervix is called the external ostium or the external os. This body portion here of the cervix, I'm sorry, of the uterus is called the corpus. And this top part up here, kind of where number 80 is, is the fundus. If you've ever been pregnant, um, you know that the doctor puts tape measure here on the pelvic, on the um, pubic symphysis and measures the size of the baby and they always measure up here to the fundus of the uterus. Okay, the uterus has several layers of cells. You can see that this is the open part of it here. So this, that's going to be the location that's open. The cells here in number five that line the interior portion of the uterus are called the endometrium. So this is the endometrium that would be made out of epithelial cells lining the inside portion of the uterus. This middle layer here is made up of a lot of smooth muscle and that's the myometrium. So the several structures that you need to know on the uterus are the fundus, the corpus, which is, the, which is what most people would call the body of the uterus, the cervix, the myometrium would be the muscle layers here, the endometrium would be the layers that are going to line the inside cavity here, and the external os here. Okay. Other structures that are associated with the outside portion of it, the anterior cul-de-sac, if you notice that if materials came here in between the uterus and the bladder, they would have to like turn around. So that's the anterior cul-de-sac. That's like on the front part of the uterus. Then you have the recto-uterine pouch. Recto-uterine, rectum, and uterus. This here is the rectum because this is the anus located here. So this pouch here at number 15 is the recto-uterine pouch. Sometimes materials get in there and it might get an infection or something um, in that location. So that's the recto-uterine pouch located between the rectum and the uterus. Fimbrae and ovary. These are the structures that are going to, um, this number one here is the ovary. These little string-like structures here are called frimbrae, and they, they dance around like this right here. They're freely movable. The ovary is going to remove, was, is going to eject an egg, and it's going to have the fimbrae that will encourage the egg to enter the fallopian tube that's located here is number two, the fallopian tube. The fallopian tube then takes the egg here to the uterus where it will implant if, there, if pregnancy is going to progress. That's all of the structures on that model. Here's our second female model. Take it off the stand and you have your labia majora and see the labia minora. This would be the clitoris. If we open it up, we can see the structures quite a bit better. This right here is the pubic symphysis. This is the urinary bladder. This would be the urethra, so this would be the urethral orifice. Come posterior to that. This is the vaginal orifice. This is the vagina here, which is going to lead to the uterus. Okay. The structure here 
that is the first part of the uterus closest to the vagina is the cervix. You can see that there's a line here showing that that's open there. So this darker set of cells that line that opening are the endometrium and this outside portion here actually is a middle layer of the uterus is the myometrium. This top portion up here is the cervix and so basically the body of the organ is the corpus. Okay, let's turn the organ sideways and we'll be able to see the ovaries located here. These are the fimbrae, the little structures that encourage the egg to enter the infundibulum, which is the opening here of the fallopian tube. And the fallopian tube would then, of course, take the egg here to the uterus. Okay, a couple of ligaments that we want to learn. The broad ligament. If you look at this on the side here, you see a lot of tissue here. This is the broad ligament, and the broad ligament is going to hold all of these organs in place and um, basically line the pelvic cavity. The round ligament is number 14 located here, and it comes around, and this is the anterior side of the body, so it comes around, and it's the ligament that's responsible for kind of holding up the uterus during pregnancy, and that's why an expectant mother's belly looks like a round basketball instead of looking flabby and fat. That's the reason you can tell the difference between pregnancy and being obese. And then there's this ligament here that leads to the um, ovary here and that's called the ovarian ligament because it holds the ovary up but it still attaches it to the uterus. Okay, one other thing on this side here that wasn't on the other model. This here is called the urogenital diaphragm, this muscle. You can see that it comes from the pubic symphysis and it continues all the way through these organs and comes over here to the rectum. See the fibers are going this direction here. You can see it very well here, here, and here. This is the urogenital diaphragm. It has muscles in it that are going to be able to control urination 